Hey everyone, welcome back to Gabriel Knight. Uh, let's see, before we move on, see what I do is off screen I, you know, check my items because it's pretty boring if I just, you know, do it for no reason. You know, I don't want you all to have to watch me go through my items, but let's see, I did notice that if I do this with the, the letter I just got, uh, the letter is in German, but Gabriel determines what he can read about it. It is sent from a place called Schloss Ritte, from Ritterberg. Uh, oh, uh, Mein Sohn Hans, and signed from. Geez, it's quick. One of the recurring words is uh, Schottenjäger. The only thing that he can tell is that it was written by Quill, uh, and a lot of un urgency and underlining. So yeah, that gave me a point. Um, I know Schloss means castle in German. What was that other word? Um, yeah, Schloss Ritter. So the castle of Ritter in Ritter, uh, Rittersburg. Um, it's to the son of Heinz, Wilhelm Heinz. Wait, um, shoot. It keeps going too fast. So, hold on. Uh, S Wil Wilhelm Ritter, which is the guy who uh, sent the message, I think. I don't know the word Schottenjäger. I think it's probably a, a name. Or not a word. I should probably look that up, but I haven't. Uh, so let's go. I was said that I should probably talk to Granny Knight. Um, since I just got all this interesting, you know, stuff about the family, I'm, I'm probably gonna talk to her and show her things. So I'm going to talk to you, Granny Knight. That's it. Take a load off, hon. Can we talk, Gran? Of course, my boy. How can I help? Let's see. Oh yeah, there's new stuff. But I was also told that I should talk to... I should do stuff that I haven't done before. Um... Let's start with the family, I guess. Until... yeah. Tell me something about Grandad. Some more about Grandad. Your Grandad immigrated to America when This he is old. Um, Tell me about my Your father was my only child. How we adored him. Philip suffered from terrible night. This is also old. Uh, Margaret. Tell me about my mother. Your mother was Margaret Templeton when your father met her. She came from a very well. I also remember you. this. Um. Tell me about. Your mother's family refused to give her money after the marriage. All she had left I'm pretty was, sure a, this was the old remainder too. of your mother's trust. Yeah. Tell me. The Templetons are all gone now. Every last one of them. They never wanted anything to do with us, of course. What a waste. Okay. So I guess uh, the mother's family is all gone. Okay. Tell me. About I don't know what. All right. Um. What about? Tell Phil? me. About when Philip met your mother, it was love at first sight. They were married two weeks later. Never looked at a girl seriously until then. And he looked at plenty. You have your father's way with... Yeah, this is this was old, but yeah. Uh, let's see if this is still Tell repeating, me. though. Wanted to just lay down the police. This is old. Um, Phil Tell Knight. Me. Your granddad wanted Philip to have a... Neat. Old. Tell he always hated it that it was Margaret's money that supported the three of you when his painting couldn't. I kept telling him. Try something more cheerful, like a landscape or two. But he couldn't do it. His work was just too dark and disturbing for the public, you know. Okay, so he's kind of like a gothic artist, I suppose. I mean, after that sketchbook, that's also my impression. Tell me about. I don't know. All right, uh, Harry. Tell Knight. me something about Granddad. Your Granddad supported me and your father with bookkeeping. I'll tell you what, though. He hated every minute of it. Didn't really like bookkeeping one bit. Maybe that was why he had the worst luck with jobs. The night he'd come home afraid to tell me he'd lost another. <laughs> and I would tell him it didn't matter to me. But he felt ashamed, Gabriel. Okay. More about Harrison? Tell me something about Granddad. Harrison was only 36 when he died. Your father was eight years old at the time. Your granddad was hit by a streetcar in the business district. Took me nearly a year to believe he was really gone. I'm sorry, Gran. 
I know you are, dear. Wait, I thought, um, Harrison and Philip died in the- no, wait, never mind. It's Margaret and Philip who died in the same car crash, that's what it was. So I think people have been trying to kill the knights. Uh, that's not good. Tell me something about Grandad. Did you know that your Grandad was a poet? He was! He wrote the most beautiful poetry for me when we were courting. I always thought he should have done something with that gift. But he was such a practical man. Didn't believe in chasing after dreams. Yeah, he doesn't seem to Tell too me something about Grandad. I don't know. Okay. Um, is there anything more Tell about me stuff? What more? Uh, nothing. Okay, nothing. Oh. Uh, was there anything new here? Schottenjäger. Have you ever heard of a Schottenjäger? 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 How odd, Gabriel. It's Jäger. I haven't heard that word in years. Yeah, that's Goodness, fine. Goodness, you've given me a chill. Your granddad used to say that sometimes in his sleep. Really? Do you know what it means? No, I'm afraid not. I asked him about it once. I don't think he answered me. Odd. Hmm. Thanks, Graham. Huh, well, whatever it is, it's pretty important. And also, yes, to skip, the tape is still skipping. Um, I'm still trying to work on it. But I don't think it's that noticeable, so I'll work on it. But yeah. Have you ever heard of a shot? I don't know what. Okay. Um. Okay, Heinz Ritter. Do you know anyone named? Heinz Ritter? Heinz Ritter? Oh, Gabriel, where did you hear that name? I found a letter in Granddaddy's clock. I promised I'd never tell you or your father, but I suppose it doesn't matter now. Tell me, Gran. Your granddad's name was Heinz Ritter before he That's came right. to America. He changed it to Harrison Knight legally when That's he arrived. Of... Wait. What the f Because... Isn't that the guy who was sending the messages? He's not sending the messages from the grave, right? Oh, hold on, I need to check Grace's message. Do you have messages for me? Go, 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 go. Don't? She's... But she's... Hmm. Do you have... He, he told me it Wait. was urgent, maybe she give him a... Do you have more messages for me? Do you have more messages? Do you have me... Uh, do you have? What was it? Dana call. Do you? No, 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 no. What did he say? Don't. She's. But she said her. Hmm. Do you have? Here's a strange one. Okay, you Wolfgang a Ritter. Name Wolfgang Ritter. He said he was called. Wolfgang Ritter, not. Not Heinz Ritter. Okay, so I guess the call is coming from. Uh, I, I guess the grandfather's son or brother or something like that. I thought it was the same person, and he's calling from the grave, which would be creepy. Okay, um... Any more I can talk to you about, Granny? Can we... Of Let's see. More about Heinz? Why did... I don't know. Oh, why did I he change his name? I tried to ask him about his family, his life before America. But he didn't want to talk about it. He never even told me about his name change. I found out one day when I saw his passport in a drawer. Since he obviously found it painful, I never questioned him about it. But I'm sure it wasn't trouble with the law. Your granddad was the best man I ever knew. Didn't granddad ever say anything about his past or his family? Only that his family was crazy and that he never wanted to see them again. Uh, okay. He believed in some family curse thought that he could spare Philip and Philip's children from what he called old nightmares. Whatever Harrison wanted to spare you, though, it cost him plenty. He never did sleep well, and he would often get a faraway guilty look in his eyes. He was wrestling with something he thought he should be doing, some place he thought he ought to be. I don't know how he could think that he should be anywhere but with me and our child. It's a terrible way to live. Okay, so whoever Wolfgang Ritter is is trying to, you know, get involved with what uh, Granddaddy Knight 
um, didn't want to do, so I guess he's going to be some sort of bad guy. Do you know anything else about Hans Ritter? I've told you all. Alright. I'm going to see if I can throw some of these items at her. Especially, um, well, I guess the sketchbook's a good start. Oops. I want to use this on her. Does this mean anything to you, Grain? I believe that was your father's, Gabriel. You keep it. Okay. Um, can I give her the letter? She probably can't read it. Does this mean anything to you, Grain? Uh, no, dear. I'm afraid I don't speak a word of German. I'd like to see if Grace knows, though. Um, what about this? Yeah, since... Th what, what? This was the grandfather and the two guys. Maybe she can elucidate on some of that. Whoops. Whoa. Alright, um... <laughs> I don't know what was with that illegal item. Let's try that again. So, what? I use this here. Okay, let's try this again. Does this mean anything to you, Grain? That one in the middle is your grandfather. Those other two, I don't know. I went through all that and you don't even know? Okay, um... What else would make sense? I don't know. Do you want a gift certificate? Does this mean anything to you, Grain? Sorry, no, Gabriel. I just want to throw items at her before... I leave. I wonder if she knows... Mar uh... Mosley. Does this mean anything to you, Grain? Sorry, no, Gabriel. And speaking of which, you know, there's this missing tape here, and I'm thinking it's going to be Mosley. I just don't know where he is, and I feel dumb because I feel like I should know where... Alright, well, I'm done, Gran. Thanks for the help. Alright, uh, let's go out the door. Well, Gran, I better get going. Alright, dear. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is go into Grace. Um, I want to research a little bit about this uh, Rita thing. So that was here, St. George Bookshop. Lucy, a hall. Oof. Oh, joy. Yeah, I can see what you meant by him hamming up his lines. All right. Uh. Right. I want to talk to you. Got a minute, Grace? What's up? Okay, how about some research? Could you do some research for me? Sure. What? Oh, seriously? All right. I can't. Okay. Um, what about this? Do you know what Cabri Saint Gaulle means? Hmm. No. Sounds French, though. Oh yeah. Speaking of which, I do. Tra I did translate um, Cabri Saint Gaulle. Um. And I wrote it in my description in the last video. It seems to be, what is it, goat without horn. So, that sounds kind of creepy. What about Chattanooga? Have you ever heard of a Schattenjäger? No. Is that a voodoo word? No, it's a German word. I don't think so. It's German. Hmm. No, but it has a nice ring, doesn't it? Schattenjäger. It's probably a name, I think. Um... Have I asked this to her before. What can you tell me about St. John's Eve? St. John's Eve? Eh, never heard of it. It must be a local custom. New Orleans love any excuse to celebrate. Okay. That was kind of... Alright. Well, let's see. I'm out of here. Let's see if Try I can not find to sell out um, the store while I'm gone. That grave. Don't hurry back on my account. That grave I was asked to go to. Um, yeah, this should be here. Yeah. So apparently this is where what the mother's grave was. Oof. Wow, this is pretty creepy. Um Hold on. I want to look here. This is a red brick. Okay. Can I take it? Cool. Um, let me look at the other stuff. This is a... Uh, vases seem to be a favorite decoration for the dead. 
visit the tomb of Marie Lavoie, um, the voodoo queen. Whoa. Um, wait. What was the rest of that? Oh, it's just waiting for him to move off the screen. Okay, what was that again? No. I wanted to look at here. Voodoo queen of New, or uh, New Orleans. Odd-looking marks adorn the tomb wall. Yeah, definitely. Oh, this looks like a matching puzzle. Can I use the hand? Or operate anything? The wall doesn't work that way. Walls don't work that way. Okay, well, um... The wall doesn't work that way. The wall doesn't work that way. Gabriel can't take anything from the tomb wall that way. Okay. But does it mean that I can take it some way? Also, is this a matching puzzle? Um... Okay, is there anything that looks like this? Yeah, this. Uh, three things over here. You know what it's probably going to be? It's probably going to say, look for a cross with, you know, three somethings. Um, I don't know. All I know is that I can't do anything about this wall. Though it does look intriguing. Does this match with anything? Yeah, it matches this. So there's definitely some matching, but... One, two, three, one, two, three. Okay, so there's 30 symbols. I'm probably gonna have to come back to this sometime, but at this point, I don't know. Probably have to open this tomb with whatever I have to do there. Okay, uh, look at tomb. Oh, I already did that. Uh, some trinkets and food are at the, at the tomb from Believers. Okay, and I'm sure I can't talk to the tomb. No way. Something might answer. Alright, well, let's look around. I'm looking for... What's her name? Margaret's grave. So, look... For graves. New Orleans is famous for the above-ground tombs. The high water table prevents bodies from... Oh, this one has Ross on the old tomb. Uh, prevents bodies from being interred underground. Okay. Ross... That doesn't have any meaning to me what about this. It's an old tomb in shade. In There's probably no one left in the family to maintain it. It's in disrepair. Um, this is a marble tomb from last century. Uh, Hamilton. 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 Oh, I'm going to have to write down and remember these names. I don't remember if... Let's see, I'm thinking of Templeton, right? So this isn't her grave, is it? Hold on, can I do anything with this grave? There's nothing to do. Pretty sure I don't want to open any of these graves, yeah. Um Let's see. What's this? A marble snake. Now that's cheerful. More snakes. Ugh, more snakes. Well what can I do? Since I know snakes are so important, I'm pretty sure I need to do something here. Uh, oof. And I tried to take it, right? Alright, well, since I saw the grave guy over, go over here, I know there's another screen here. Maybe there's more go over there. Okay, um... This is an upgrade... Upgra wow! It's an above a ground tomb for what one person? Yes. Okay. Uh, the right thing. Right planter Merrill. These are grands folks. I never knew. Grands folks. Yeah, she definitely never said anything about them, and I can't do anything until this guy's gone. I think. Yeah, get out of here. Okay, Franklin Wright. These are grands folks. What about this? Um, just vases. This is a uh, wrought iron fence that surrounds the I tomb. I hope that's to keep people out. Okay, more vases. An odd monument highlights one of the grave sites. It looks, what, reptilian? That's what it says. Grinning grotesquery tops one section of the cemetery fence. Okay, I hope there's more areas because I still haven't found my mother's grave yet. Um, okay. Look at here. No, not me. This tomb is smaller than most in the cemetery. Kind of a pup tent for the dead. Oh, is it for a child? 
That's not good. Now, see, most of the plaster has fallen off uh, over the years to reveal walls of red brick. I wonder if that has anything to do with the brick I just picked up. Hold on. Um, no. Use this with this. There's no need to write on that. Well, do I have to write on it? Hold on. Look at this. Most of the plaster has fallen away. Uh, I operate. It's just suddenly they're telling me I shouldn't write on it, which I wasn't planning to until it said that I could write on it. Uh, I, I don't know. Wait, don't I have a pen or something? No. Well, I have this sketchbook. Well, that's not going to do anything. Um, look at this. An opposing, to uh, imposing tomb is elaborately labeled Getty. Ged? Okay. Stained, uh, well, st stone angel leans down to gaze at something unseen. What is it looking at? There's something weird here with this, this plaster and this angel. What about this thing? An angel draped dramatically over a store, uh, a stone plinth marks the entrance to a large tomb. It is a pretty large tomb. I want to look at these vases. Uh, two enormous vases uh, flank the front of the Getty tomb. To the east, there's no more to do. Okay. I hope this is her, her grave because this is the last thing I can see. This old tomb has this carved, uh, a sword carved into the stone below the name of the deceased. Can I do something about that? Doesn't want to disturb it. Can I push it off? It's much too heavy. Doesn't want to disturb it. Uh, well, I didn't find the tomb, and I think that's the entire cemetery, yeah? Can't go over here. I mean, unless I can go over here, this direction. Wait, what's this little thing right here? It's just a marble plate near the tomb doors. Okay, so I have a feeling I'm going to be opening this tomb. But... Wait, did I look at the door of this? No, no, no. Look at the door of this. No, the door of... Okay. Well, I know I've got to be here. I mean, Granny Knight told me to be here so I could find my, my mother's grave. I think that's what she said. If not, I'm going to have to recheck that. Um, well, I guess I can go out and look for clues at the very least. I'm kind of bummed that I didn't find anything out in the cemetery, though, except a brick. Get out of here. Okay. Um, where do I want to go? Wait, St. Louis Street? I wonder if I have to know these streets for something. Um, I guess I can ask around about, you know, the the Capri San Cure and stuff Hi. like that. Look around all you want. Okay. okay, thanks. I will. Actually, you don't have anything to say, don't you? So how's the? I don't know. Yeah. Um. And you still don't want to talk. Could I ask? You I wouldn't be. You should talk to Doctor John. Yeah, so I see. Dr. John. Alright. So, tomorrow I'll check on this shop again. I'll be going there. So um. Let me go to the pub. Maybe the bartender knows something about the uh, Capri San Cua. Okay, let me question you again. Could I ask you? Sure. Yeah. Okay, we have Cabri Saint Cure. Does the phrase Cabri Saint Cœur mean anything to you? You know what goes in it? I don't think it's a drink. Uh, oh, then I probably don't know anything about it. What about Schottenjäger? Have you ever heard of a Schottenjäger? Never heard of it. God. What else can I do? Maybe the police academy has something, like that police guy has something he can say. 
Because so far he doesn't, he hasn't given me any information. He won't even tell me, tell me where Mosley is. Where are you, Mosley? You know, I'm pretty sure I tried to go past here, yeah? Yeah. I question you. Got a second, officer? What can I do you for? Uh, do you know what Capri Saint-Gaur means? Can't say that I do. Great. Have you ever heard of a Schottenjäger? Can't say that I have, but it sounds dirty. Oh, for... okay, um... And he's just gonna say he's not About here. Did I told yeah, he's not here. So he's somewhere, just not here. All right, well, let's get out. Uh, I guess I can go to the drugstore. Hi. Hey. Uh -huh. Okay. Um, can I talk to you about some of this other stuff can I that I've done? What about Schottenjäger? Have you ever heard of a Schottenjäger? Man, I don't even know what language that is. It's German. Okay, well, let's get out of here. Shoot. I was so sure Grace would have something for me. Let me go to the cathedral. Um. I don't know, let me open this door again. No one here. Get out of here. Uh, let's see, get out of here. Oh. Wait, what? This is new? <laughs> I thought I was trying to- I was trying to leave. Well... Can I look in here? May I help you, my child? Um, can you give me a blessing? Could you give me a blessing? Do you feel the need for a blessing, son? You wouldn't believe me if I told you. Alright. If it will comfort you. The, uh, the priest blesses- Peace be with you, son. Okay, bless Thank me through you, the Father. window. Bless me through the window. So, is there is there more I can do with that? Can I talk to you from here? It's empty and there's no one behind the table. Uh, I wanted to talk more to you. Let me go back in here and see if I can do that. Open here. I guess this is the other side. Really? Well, he had some other stuff to say. Oh. May I help you, my child? Hey, I'd like to make a confession, I think. I'd like to make a confession. All right. If it will make you feel better. Some people say I'm a selfish person, Father. We can always strive to improve ourselves. Patterns can be broken. Yes. Thank you, Father. Is there anything else? Nope. That's it. Goodbye, then. Peace go with you. I have a feeling this guy isn't really going to tell me anything. Let me get out of here. How did I get out? Oh, okay. Uh, Jackson Square, maybe? I mean, I guess I'm kind of running out of places. Anything new here? Let me talk to this guy again. Good day. Yeah. Yeah. Let me question you. Could I ask? Not. No. I should have noted. All right. These are. These look like the same people. These look like the same people. These look like the same people. And these look like the same people. So let's get out of here. Go to the overlook. Well, I feel pretty stuck. Can I give my items to anyone? Who would even want to? Uh, I don't know. I'm kind of stuck, actually. So what I'm going to do is, since this is kind of a good time to end the video, um, I'm going to stop here. I'm going to look around until I find something of progress. And I'll show it to you in the next episode. So, I, I guess I, I guess this was a not too much um, 
volume episode, but hopefully the next one will be a lot more um, action-packed. So I'll see you in the next one. I'm really thankful for you guys to watch, so I'll see you then. Later.